Good afternoon everyone, my name is Patricia and today my presentation will be on exploring OWL Purdue, the online writing lab, and a flipped approach, an integration which complements language learning. To begin with, I'd like to address the question of what is the OWL Purdue and a flipped classroom approach. Um, OWL is a resourceful online writing lab with the objective to develop primary support for their student population of Purdue University and the global body of professional ESL EFL community who are looking for assistance in their development as writers through their online reference materials and services. And the flipped classroom approach is basically a pedagogical a model which traditional lectures and homework are applied in reverse, allowing learners to collaborate with interactive online content to expand their learning. Now the framework is applied commonly in through the incorporation of three elements. The first one is the pre-class element, which allows uh, students to engage in a flexible environment. They can choose when and where they would like to learn. The second is the during class performance, which activates involvement in knowledge, construction, and learning strategies. And the last one is the post-class element, which practice, performance, and feedback will take place. For our second question, how could we use the online writing lab and a flipped model? I will be discussing some main purposes. Um, the OWL can be used as reference material both inside and outside the classroom setting, and its collection of online resources offer a wide and wealthy range of writing materials that address a variety of topics, such as, for example, general writing process, teacher and tutor resources, and subject-specific materials. It can also be adapted for the purposes of in-class instruction on general writing process, such as academic writing, common writing assignments, grammar mechanics, and punctuation. Second, the teacher and tutor section contains um, teacher resources and PowerPoint presentations on how to write workshops for graduate students, different types of lesson plans, and practice exercises. In addition, the OWL Purdue YouTube channel offers a range of vidcast series which can be introduced during a warm-up part of a lesson on the basics of grammar and the ins and outs of essay formatting. Finally, it can be integrated into a flipped classroom approach. For instance, students uh, may study materials at their own pace. This in turn um, serves a particular value to students who are interested in the writing process and can address steps so that learners can find guidance, revision, and also PowerPoint presentations that will help them enhance their learning skills and abilities. Question number three, what types of benefits exist for educators and learners? Um, according to the research that I've done, I've actually found four different types. Um, there is a variety of conventional benefits which can be utilized to meet goals and maximize outcomes. Some of the examples of benefits that teachers and learners will find are individual pace, practicality, access to training, and application of theory and practice. Uh, first, in terms of individual pace, OWL provides effectiveness which guides potential for individuals' learning curves and styles. Second, practicality in terms of workload, workload reduction and time-based efforts provide teachers the benefit of quickly developing assessment materials. And furthermore, OWL also allows the access to the expansion of knowledge, practice, and training for both counterparts. This in turn would serve an opportunity uh, for teachers and learners to learn on a constant basis and it would also would be a mean of updating their teacher uh, pedagogies in the classroom and it would persuade them to constantly be up with their game. The fourth element um, of this presentation addresses um, the effective elements that a teacher should consider behind a flipped model. Um, the elements are the foundation as well as the collaboration of pedagogical approaches which connect effectiveness and the aspect of socialization in the classroom with technological enhancement. Um, let's begin with the element of shifting the workload. First, teachers will need to decrease schedule 
class time and homework to allow students to recognize and understand that the workload has shifted and not increased. By holding meetings with students to discuss the running of the class and what it entails will foster a positive school culture, um, allow students to take on responsibility for their classroom, and also gives them a sense of ownership and learning space. Uh, next, uh, teachers should take time to think about how they can make their pedagogy as simple as possible. This means only doing what they need to do and maintain focus. It's about focusing on evaluation, adapting, and improving learning um, learners' um, outcomes. In addition, tracking a student's progress, integrating a learning management system allows the performance of getting things done quicker. Um, applications such as Grade Me for Moodle or Unicheck are excellent examples that allow students to have timely uh, feedback and they're accessible on Google. Second, the element of conceptual framework, which subsequent learning takes place in a scaffolding manner. There are various sources which teachers can use to develop a learning framework. For example, Bloom's uh, Taxonomy Teacher Planning Kit, the Technology Integration Matrix, and the SAMR model, which are also um, easily accessible through uh, Google. Next, the pre-class cognitive engagement, which focuses on the idea of having learners experience the value of pre-class cognitive acquaintance through the engagement and interactivity of various approaches and of activities, such as flashcards on Google Actions Console, and clickers, which students can engage in short questions and answers and online quizzes. Also, it is important to evaluate the space in which the students will engage with e-learning and the allocated time available. This serves the elements of metacognitive development of students, an added value which the former, the teacher provides students with thinking structures and allows them to see how their learning steps are developing from lower levels to higher levels of thinking. In terms of added value, lesson formatting and design should be learned in during their own time. Hence, students are guided to move beyond the knowledge stage to higher order thinking skills, which can trigger and allow application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. The last element is the element of interactivity and cognitive engagement which are also indispensable uh, structures because these allow social interactivity, collaboration in the classroom, um, or via e-learning. Now in terms of how the OWL Online Writing Lab um, can lend itself to um, TESOL. Um, first, teachers need to consider how learning online can be adapted both in and outside of their traditional classroom setting. There are a variety of ways that this can be implemented. For example, considering the idea of whole or small group um, instructions, the teacher may adapt materials developed by OWL to help. Um, also, vidcasts can be shown on an interactive whiteboard, or teachers can have students watch them on various writing resources on their own screens and then have groups of students present what they have learned uh, to the rest of the classroom. Um, another suggestion would be to apply a flipped classroom model in which students are assigned online homework by asking learners to do research and um, make notes on particular writing themes such as, for example, tips on writing in North American colleges and plagiarism. In the same way, online writing materials can be adapted in terms of advanced learning. Students who have master content sent in class can be challenged in order to trigger stimulation. For example, instead of having a student complete a lesson with the rest of the class, allow him or her to take on a more self-directed, independent learning outside the classroom and teach their peers on what they have learned. Question number six, how do I evaluate the online resource? There are a few ways which educators can evaluate resources online before beginning their implementation, which will cater students' learning needs and outcomes. To begin with, a technolo technology integration analysis and evaluation can be developed to generate conceptual models, templates, and rubrics to help educators evaluate the technology or online resource. Um, it's content, reflection, usability, um, resources, and formatting. Um, Similarly, a template can guide teachers about the rationale of the development and application of OWL. 
And educators may also find the technology integration matrix useful when finding a level of technology integration for their classroom. Um, also creating a checklist of demographic, uh, demographics, uh, educational, um, motivational, and aspirational variables would also be of great instructional planning and help. Number seven, how do I craft a lesson implementing the Aula Purdue and a flipped um, model? Uh, first, decide how the technology resources and tools you'll be using will complement lesson aims and objectives. The purpose behind the implementation of digital language learning is to enhance learning and teaching via the opportunities that technology can afford. Um, second, decide which online resources students uh, will use to practice with. Choosing a topic your students struggle with to review at home and prepare questions and answers will help to explain this concept during class time where students can collaborate and share meaning. Third, explain the pros of such an approach. Make sure to establish rules and accountability before distributing or assigning um, any work. Equally important, teach your students how to watch, take notes, and engage proactively with the content. And also access for all means making sure that all learners have the technology needed to practice in their homes or during any time or space desired. If not, creating a contingency plan with alternative methods will also guarantee access and success. And last, remember to leave the easy content for outside the classroom setting. If students have viewed certain content and read it on an informational text online, there's no need to watch the same content once more because this in turn would defeat the purpose of the model and waste valuable classroom time. All right, for our final part, for, uh, of this uh, presentation. It is our conclusion and just should go over some key points once more. Um, the overview of the exploration of the OWL Purdue Online Writing Lab in a flipped classroom model developed. Um, examine aspects uh, which teachers may take into consideration before integrating both elements into their pedagogy. And as it was seen, each aspect of an integration of both OWL Purdue and a flipped model can be of great benefit. And even though valid information has been shared, um, I would greatly suggest that the educators wanting to integrate both elements continue further evaluation, reflection, and research. Therefore, it is necessary to pursue a continuum of educating language teachers and learners on how to implement technology and alternative pedagogies to further complement and enhance language learning. Um, that is all. If there are any questions, I apologize for not being there in person. However, um, if anyone is interested, you may contact me through my email, the Supreme Art of Teaching at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening and for uh, allowing um, time. Thank you.